The boom is off! Electric motor. Synthetic rigging. Classic sailboat. No electronics. Crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Still no sight of land, but I must say, I'm ready. So normally when we do a long ocean passage, or just a long passage in general where I haven't seen anyone in a long time, I really don't want to stop. Like, I, I don't want it to end. I want to just stay out at sea alone forever and just keep going. And, but honestly, this time, I'm ready for land. I, I'm so excited for what's going to come next that I, I'm just, I'm ecstatic. Shall we play What Color Is The Water Today? If you guessed Milky Teal, you're correct. another one of those things. We've been out in the middle of the ocean for almost four weeks now and the ocean has a smell. It's just kind of like this salt air that you get very very used to and there really are no other smells outside <laughs> when you're in the ocean. So having being hit upon waking up with this very new smell is interesting and exciting because it's just another sign that we're almost there. Do you want some soup? Yeah, sure. Asparagus? Sure. Sure Alright. All we're kind of running low on everything else. <laughs> we're kind of running low on all of our food. We've got rice and beans and pasta to last us for eons, so we would never actually run out of food. And we've got other canned things like canned fruits and canned vegetables too. But we have run out of eggs, we're running very low on meat, we have run completely out of vegetables and fruits, that was a while ago, and we're almost out of cheese. We're really... the refrigerator is pretty much empty. So I'm making this um, powder ready-made soup that you just have to heat up water and pour into this kind of gooky powder. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty good, but it's very salty. So if we want to make sure that we're maintaining a healthy diet, we need to get to Suriname and get some fresh food. died on my watch last night. <laughs> but we never dip below three. Nice. What happened? 
pins. So there's a pin that goes here, and it's not. And oh my gosh. And out, the boom just was free. So thankfully we were full sail, so the... The sail held it up. The sail kept it from going. So I tied the, our old tack line to a cleat. So that's holding the front of the boom, and then the topping lift is keeping the back. But, oh crap. Good thing wow. we it here. All right, so I gotta find- We gotta find the pin. The long pin. Oh, I hope the pin is around here. Well, here's our cotter pin. Found the cotter pin. Yeah. It's worst case we can use the old anchor pin. Kind of fits. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to find the, the, the actual real pin. pin. Yeah. It's amazing that that's all that's holding up the boom. Yeah. Like the entire boom. And it's just a cotter pin and a big pin. Big rod. Rod. So you think that PJ wasn't down all the way and it pushed? Yeah, it pushed out the cotter pin. It pushed out the cotter pin. There's some space on him, right where the pin was. Oh, shoot. So now I know I need to bring PJ down all the way. Yeah. You found it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, the pin. The pin. Yeah. So wow. PJ pushed. It's grease, or yeah. it's lanolin. Yeah. PJ pushed this pin out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go reinstall our boom. <laughs> Cause that's an average thing. All right, I'll hand steer us while you're doing that. Thank you. No, not even close. Do you want me to push? It's no bueno. opposite? Uh, I'm just gonna get it over the bracket. Okay. If I do, oh, let me just have the pin. <laughs> I usually do this without the sail on. Yeah. Do you want me to get the sail out of the way? Yeah, it, it's physically can't go anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna line it up and you shove this pin up into it, okay? <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, right, left, I'm sorry, yeah, okay. You're right, okay, ooh, nope, too much. Oh. Okay. We got AIS alarm. Yeah, I'm just gonna look. Yeah, I'm gonna right. pull mm -hmm. it further back. There's no one around us. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go pull it back and then we're gonna have it all perfect, but too high. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna lower it, you pop the pin in. Okay. That's uh, pretty good. A little, a little more. That's good. Nice. Two. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm gonna lock it off. Okay. Pull forward for you. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that was it. Oh, it's so close. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. There you go. All right. And the top one. Oh boy. 
It's fine. It's got it, got it, got it. Up, 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 okay. Up. This, this needs to be forward. Yes! Okay, hold it there. Yeah. I'm gonna put the pin the other way. Uh huh. That way, when uh, PJ never, ever, ever has a chance of rubbing on it. Because <laughs> that's what happened. All right. I can uh, let go. Yeah. Just gonna open this leg up. We're just gonna need to stabilize the hell out of it. Yeah. It's fine. We made it. Oh well. Our boom fell off. That happened. We worked really fast. Uh, Herbie rigged a situation that made it, I'll let him describe what he did. <laughs> but it worked. We got the boom back on. Man, that would have been bad if it had happened in the middle of the ocean. We were pitching and uh, rolling around. Yeah, that'd be no good. Rolling around, but like this, luckily happened while we were in completely flat waters. Everything is fine. It's just a little moment. Yeah, I was just down in the cabin and Herbie was like, the boom is off. <laughs> Not anything you ever want to hear. So now we're going to jibe and start making our approach. So many exciting things are happening. We're jibing in towards land. We're very near the mouth of the river and we're going to anchor outside of it um, because we need to come in with the tide and with daylight. But we're going to anchor. We're going to drop our anchor as soon as we hit the mouth of that river, which will be later on this evening. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh. I'm going to turn on the avionics. Yes, please. Wow, that was an adventure. <laughs> Do you have any sweat left in your body? <laughs> can see, seeing that just going. <laughs> yeah. That was one of those awful moments. Yeah. Is it over? Uh, yes. Okay. It should be good. All right, I'm gonna go back. Yep. Please do. <laughs> We have any momentum anymore. Yeah. You, uh, that's a big balloon up there. Yeah. Uh, it still looks back to me. Oh, it is. how it hits your senses. 
definitely been like deprived for a month. Yeah. So we're coming into the river right now and we are heading towards an anchorage. We're just going to anchor for the night uh, out here in kind of the basin of the river. And yeah, more like the mouth. The mouth, yeah. Yeah, we, we weren't able to catch the current coming in. So right now we're fighting the current and we're like full steam. <laughs> For oh, us. Steve. So we're, we're doing three kilowatts, which is like maybe four horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Which for us is. That's all I want to use. <laughs> and uh, we're moving quickly. And we're doing three and a half knots against this current. And we have one and a half miles to go to the anchorage. So. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow we wake up yes. at dawn and we. Use the tide. Use the tide to get in, in, in okay. to the river. It'll tide us over. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how happy I am, but it's gonna be really hard to just drop anchor tonight and not go to shore because we're like, I can see just this stripe, this thick stripe of trees and land and there's evidence of humanity and ugh, but we can't go until tomorrow because we really have to like check in and figure everything out. Yeah. That's and there's no Schengen. Yes, that there's is the <laughs> best part. We don't have to worry about Schengen. It's amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, you think about it. We're now in the Americas again. Yes. Like, we're back. We're on the other side. We have officially made it across the Atlantic Ocean for the second time. Yup. Very nice. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, I'm just so happy. Yeah. I'm going to sleep so hard tonight, though. I feel very accomplished. Good. Oh, that smell. Yeah, I, we haven't smelled land yeah. in forever. Now, I swear, this place is like magical because you do not see it from the water. You can't see land until you're right up in it. <laughs> Mench, Mench, yeah. Mench, yes. Mench, Mench. Yes. For 12 years, I've dreamt of doing this passage. <laughs> we and didn't quite do the passage you dreamt of, though. Yeah. I wanted to cross the Atlantic, Cape Verde yeah. to here. Yeah. Uh, to, to the Americas. Yeah, the, this but, side. Like, the other side of the Atlantic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wanted to you go to the You wanted to Caribbean. go to the Caribbean. Yeah, I wanted to go to Grenada. But. Too bad. Yep, this <laughs> is... You're with me, so I get to choose the port. Yeah, and pick like the hardest. I choose Suriname. <laughs> God, there were like currents and horrible winds, <laughs> and we had to get down near the doldrums but below the hurricane belt. Oh yes, it was awful. Complication! <laughs> but, man, it's like life goal. Complete. Check. Check. <laughs> Batteries charging. Oh. Is this Parmesan cheese that's grated into it? Mm -hmm. That's why. It didn't melt. Mm. Well, it tastes okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's delicious. It's just a weird texture. Mm. Tastes like anchored. <laughs> Night, guys. <laughs> We're getting up the anchor. We're gonna get ready to try, try, try and make it up the river to Paramaribo. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.